Okay. Mission mission done. Oh yeah, we've got to go we've actually got to go back and feed the fish now, haven't we? Okay. Off we go. Whee! Look at him go. <laughs> Uh, could we go in that door? No. What a run. Oh, uh, we haven't had the word of the day but yet today, by the way, folks. That is still guessable. Now, it's not related to any of the specific demos we're playing today. It's, um... It's just about the stream in general today. It's not being a snow. So, yeah, it's quite a tricky one to choose when you're playing several games in one stream, but I hope it makes sense. A team of reverse engineered Legend of Dragoon to make it a viable PC port. <gasps> no way. Feed the fishies. Little fishy, your little dishy is now served. Nice one, Vulcan. Thank you. Notebook, fish okay, dinner. Okay, Herald bot diagnostic report. Scanning, scanning. All tasks completed satisfactorily. Enjoyment evaluation minimal. Energy levels depleted. Recharging required. Next destination, Agora Arcades. Okay, you are slightly insane, Harold. Off we go. Off we go, off we go. We are not all slightly insane, that's true. You don't have to be, but it helps. Now, where did we go to get out of here? I think it's through here, isn't it? Yes. Now, where would they be? Ah, mm. why isn't this working? So typical. Hmm. I suppose the ticket reactivation is still going to take a while. So what do we do? Hey, Harold. Oh, completed. Okay. Watch the announcement. Uh, in the lounge, I guess. Hello again. Hey, Chris. Ticket not working. Mind if I watch the announcement with you? Well, be my guest. Not that I actually live here. <laughs> oh, it's starting. <laughs> my God. All water cup announcement. We chose the stars, not instead of the earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we didn't, I guess, but our ancestors did. Mm -hmm. And we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Left, I mean. We'd be back on earth. And where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home, tasted its air, or gazed across its boiling seas, but we remember it. And then... We made a new home, even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation over all others helped make that possible. All water. On that note, I'd like to introduce Madam CEO Brenna Castlejock. That is a hairdo. Good day to you all. As you may know, I am Brenna Castlechop, the CEO of All Castle Water Chop. Corporation. More importantly, I'm a citizen of the Fedora just like you. And it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. Join me in reliving and celebrating the remarkable journey we've been on together before we unveil the next step of that journey. Okay. So we're not on Earth. It may have started with one man, but it took the hearts and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. That dream began at the height of the Cold War, when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. He conceived of an arc-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families, and private institutions such as the Schlippmeyer Foundation, as a gesture of global care for the human race. Okay. The ship journeyed for 200 years, was home to five generations, and sailed past hey, Brad. many solar systems, making fascinating Welcome to discoveries this. along the way, <laughs> like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply, mm -hmm. or the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. 
We had difficulties to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields, Indeed. periods of hopelessness, and the unpleasant, albeit brief, alien infestation. Oh, God! And of course, 120 years How are you, Brad? launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. Which was? After 200 oh. years, we finally arrived at our destination. Only to find that the promising, watery planet contained no habitable landmass and dense, toxic gases in the atmosphere. Hardly the second Earth we had hoped for. Mm. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could, that they would cause our ship to crash. But nice, Brad. Just like Icarus, but with worse luck. Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. So they're sort of stuck underwater in this planet. Wasn't that a wild ride, huh? We've achieved so much aboard the Fedora, but we've never stopped thinking big. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy, so we should be listening to see what the local news is. Mm -hmm. So we hatched a new plan. A state-of-the-art deep space radio boy capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip ah. and wait for it yes we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now that's right Woo! the boy will be in position in another few hours big congratulations and thanks to all water for making this possible i'm excited to see what we pick up Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Sure. Makes for some nice gossip. But I think they should fix the tube system or upgrade the TVs, eh? Before this fancy boy... How do they get any vitamin D down there? What if there really is nothing else out there? Exacto mundo. We should be focusing on inner space before outer, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Speaking of inner space, I hope the tickets are working again Eat tomorrow. fish. Hey, claro. Do yeah, fish have vitamin D in? I guess, yeah. Those bambinos will forget everything at this Or pills. And you've got your trusty couch. Yep. We've gotten to know each other well. Okay. I'm gonna get some sleep. Buona notte, Chris. Buona notte, Ero. Buona notte. Bedtime. Uh... Food lab. Why do you think he was sitting on a toilet? <laughs> yeah, just going. Oh, having a good shit. Bedtime. Plenty of D to go around. Stuck underwater for so long. Oh my. Oh boy. What a day. Here's hoping tomorrow is a bit more relaxed. I could do with a day off. You literally had two things to do, All man. Running back and forth for people is tiring, man. <laughs> But, Agent Haroldson, that's what they pay you for. Don't let us down now. Agent Haroldson. <laughs> Deary me. Right. Day 18251 AC. After crashing? I don't know. Welcome back, Skinny. Welcome to Harold Halibut. Right then. What does the day have in store for us today? Let's go, Harold. Oh, camera follow. There we go. Morning, Harold. Hello, Professor. What did you think of that announcement? It was quite fantastically self-aggrandizing. Yes, it 50 is. The, the boy seems cool, though. Indeed. Since they arrived. Sure make a great source of distraction. I think they said well, it was... if you're quite ready. 200 sure. years ago. Um, ready for what? I made a breakthrough discovery at the Arboretum last night. But 120, 200 years ago they left, but 120 years ago they arrived or something? Oh, or was it a 120 really year journey? I can't the remember. ones with the strange shapes and the little holes and... The blue ones, yes. Turns out their surface composition doesn't just give us clues about our immediate aquatic environs. I think they've picked up some influences from outer space as well. Space! Take a look through the microscope. You'll see what I mean. 
Just remind me exactly how that thing works again. Harold, are you fooling me? This will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. You need to open the hatch first. Right. I can do that. I can do that. It's, it's a really cool art style. Now, I was going to say, I feel like I'm in a Wes Anderson the movie. Open the sample shelf. Uh, where, what switch? Oh, yeah. The one that we accidentally opened yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Got it. And then... It, yeah, it's very smooth. The rock you want is in the container on the lower right. You remember your left and right? <laughs> Bring it to the microphone. It does, doesn't it? it into the hatch. All right. And in we go. Close it. Voila. Check the microscope and finally you'll see what I mean. All right, let's have a look. The one you're looking at now seems to have picked up radiation from our nearest sun. There's a particular mark for each time there's been a solar flare. I can Ooh. only see one mark. That's the problem. What? There isn't enough of a recording on this one. I dated it to roughly 40 BC. So we need an older one. For... Exactly. Older ones, ideally. Although I doubt we'll have much luck catching more of them by chance. Mm. Oh, yes. We have to figure out when there's going to be a gap Hello, Queen. between flares. Flares cause the solar winds. A gap between solar storms is our only window for leaving this place. I right. need to look into this, Harold. If anyone on board has an older rock, we need it procured. We're on the hunt for rock. We're not going to be able to catch one. Where am I supposed to start looking? You could start at Tommy's store. You and I both know that guy somehow gets hold of whatever those filter stations spit out and then sells them at an outrageous markup. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Jean. Nice to see you, Bridget. Is the sample in the microscope? I'm really curious to inspect it. Yes, you definitely should. All right. Anything else we can do in here? No. Okie dokie. Let's talk to Bridget. Hey. Hey, you're the professor's assistant, Jeremy, right? Um, yes, but no. I'm Harold Halibut. It's I weird, but I like it. For about a year? Oh, goodness, you're Microwave Boy. What? So, you do remember. Microwave me. Boy? Yes, how could I forget that debacle? Actually, I've just met with your professor. Don't leave. Everything I want to okay? know? Not entirely, but I probably shouldn't be telling you. Okay, I'll... But I suppose if Moreau trusts you, I'm a bit worried about our ship's energy reserves. What did he do to a microwave? To about it. Can't be good. She's the smartest person on board, isn't she? Reserves? Are we in some kind of trouble? Now I've said too much. He microwaved a fish. Perhaps she'll tell you more. Did you guys talk about the Bloomy Rocks at all? Moreau said I should maybe check with your husband. As a matter of fact, we did. As for my husband, you'll have to ask You're all right, Queen. Not too bad. How are you? I've been able to do the past few days. Knowing that infuriating rock collection, I'm sure he'll find you something. He's a sweetheart, really, you know? Go ask him. See you later. Bye, Richard. Yeah, as... So... Dare I ask, what is it? <laughs> so... Bridget told me about some kind of energy shortage and to ask you about it. Any idea what she meant? Hmm. Yes, she mentioned she may have found a link between something in the water and our solar wind problem. Mm -hmm. It's speculative, and now isn't the time. Okay. At all. Fine. Oh, no, it's okay. I'll be off. Be good, Harold. So, we gotta go and talk to... Uh, Jummy... Tommy's general store at the Agora Arcades. Okay, let's go. Harold. Oh. When you see Cyrus, could you give him a message for me? Sure thing, Professor. Just ask him, how are the details coming along? Okay. 
I will ask him. Very cryptic. Um, what a great yes, present, Tom Bodo, packed for the 16th, 17th, myself, and 24th, and 26th. Wonderful. To why I, don't want to? I just did stop to wonder. It's complicated, okay? Congrats on the prize. We go back as well. a long way and don't always see eye to eye, especially on matters of categorization, nomenclature, and subsequent archiving methodology. Not that he ever saw fit to delineate his preferred. <laughs> don't mind me, Harold. I just mean Cyrus has his stubborn phases, and I just can't talk to him when he's in one. Okay, say no more. Your message is safe with me. Actually, Harold. Yes. No, it's okay. Nothing. Run along now. <laughs> All right. One job at a time. Well, first we've got to go then and talk to Tommy. I guess. Hello there. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to next fest. I've got a lot of demos lined up, and we're trying lots. Destination selected. Off we go. A pleasant journey. <clears throat> and we're currently playing Harold Halibut, which has a very interesting art style. You may now don't really know where it's going yet, but it's intriguing. Your own safety, no respect for authority, wanton disregard for the future of humanity. Harold, good timing. You can explain things to the major, can't you? Harold, come here and explain things, and yourself. Major, I'm just passing through. I really don't know what this is about. Hi, Felix. So you're not here to make excuses for this diminutive delinquent. Diminutive delinquent. Not diminutive. I've just got longer to live than you. And Harold, tell him about our plan. Harold! <laughs> I thought I told you to stay out of trouble. I should have known you'd be wrapped up in this. I'm not in trouble. There is no plan. Are you questioning my authority and or organizational merit? Oh, God. But no, Major. I... If I find out you're a bad influence on young Felix here... Not me. Major. Whatever Felix did... I'm sure it was meant innocently. Yeah. And how would you know about that? I really don't Unless see it, Enigma. You league with him. I just meant. I, mean, <laughs> I really you, don't you see relax. it. Relax, Harold. He's just got really a few to tweak my skin blotches. Yeah, but, it doesn't but, look like that to me. It's pink Felix for a start. Anyway. <laughs> Utterly unconcerned for his own safety, no respect for authority, wants him disregard. Anyway, Major, under whose jurisdiction is Harold in trouble? Mine. I'm the law here. I'm the law. Felix, will you be a witness to this? Absolutely. <laughs> and can you testify to Harold's involvement? Only if he's willing to testify to mine. Harold, tell the truth now. It'll be easier in the long run. I haven't witnessed anything to testify. Damn it. Testify. The danger of falling apart. I'm sure Felix's parents will deal with this. Good point. They should really be present mm. while you question me, Major. I'm only a minor. Don't you throw the book at me, son. Where are they anyway? I don't know. And good luck finding them. Oh, no. Felix, have you lost them? Harold, leave this to the professionals. Felix, do you mean to tell me you've neglected to file a missing person? Oh, my God, this guy. Shouldn't we look for them? Don't change the subject. But bureaucrat. what is the subject? That's right, Harold. Know your rights. If, and I mean if, you're acting as some kind of heroic big brother figure to this young man. I expect you to be a positive influence. I, we, there's no... Come on, spit it out, man. Just leave me alone, Sandstrom. I've got fish to feed. Okay, Harold, but your fish won't save you if I catch you red-handed. He's now, Felix, really annoying. <laughs> Where is Felix? Like, dude. Felix? Harold, you've lost him. How have you, how has Harold lost him? Jeez. What an asshole. Oh. Hello, Mr. Secretary. Uh, eight, right? I'm afraid not. You must be thinking of my brother, Secretary Eight. Or Secretary 24, of course. Oh, sorry. I always get that mixed up. There are just three of you, right? Well, now, uh, three of us work for Old Water, yes. Oh, so there's um... another who doesn't? Hmm, yes, Secretary Eight is the man to ask about that. He remembers it all much better than I do. Remembers? Okay, sounds serious. Uh, anyway, weird. I'm neglecting my post. Hey, Wacker. Welcome to the... It's Agora been a, it's been a fun day so far. Would you like to partake in Welcome to Harold Halibut. Oh, sure. Wait, 
Is it free to enter? Certainly. Oh, in the that case. is a generous gesture of frivolity from all water to you, the Ooh. citizens of Fedora. What are the prizes? Well, there's a long list of luxuries. A plethora, plethora of pleasurable prizes. prizes. The full list can be perused at your leisure on the All Water Public Access Forum. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Give me a f give me a raffle ticket. Woo! Oh, Word hasn't been found yet, folks. Roll, please. Someone's got to get it. And... Looks like you were unlucky this time, but that's life. Try again next month. It's a tricky one. Uh, do I go in this way? Yes. So hang on. Oh my god. Okay. Welcome to the arcades. So. We've had a message. Speak to secretary number eight. Mysterious fourth brother. John Slippy Jr. Yes, Slippy's double black diamond deals are now on for one day only. Don't sleep on Slippy's exclusive new campaign launch event. Visit Slippy's today. Still have spam here then. Now, Tim, what do you think about the announcement then? Well, I think it sounds exciting, Alan. You think everything's spam, spam. Well, Where's Tommy? Hang on, does it did it say here? Ras, hello there. How you doing? Tommy's general store. There we go. Where's Tommy's general store? There it is. How are you today, Ras? Wait, I can't go in. Oh. There's the blue rock, the bane of my day. Where's Tommy when you need him? Hellskate? No, is that... What's, what? I haven't heard about that one. Where's Tommy? Tommy, what are you doing? Oh, or not. Hey, how is it going, Harold? Not too shabby, thanks. How about you? I'm super, actually. I found a book. Oh, cool. What kind of book? It was just discovered. No. A book fucking farting. On Earth. Tommy! Nobody on the station has read it yet. Apart from me. What's all wow. you, Tommy? What's it about? Stick around and you'll find out. Tony Hawk and Hackenslash. Ooh, interesting. Is a reading of it. Oh, nice. Which part? All of it, Harold. All of it. Without interruption. It's going to be a wild ride. So buckle up. Wow, okay. Good luck. Now, listen here. You, you tell me fucking Shelby, right? You can stop that right now. <laughs> Who this? Hey, buddy. Hey, Harold. Great to see you. How about that announcement, eh? Yeah, it was really something. It sure was. I try not to busy myself with those kinds of affairs. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm just happy you're joining in for the station jog. What the jog? Uh, no. Only... Chris promised me he'd be here any minute. Now we've really got a jog. No. Our hands. I think I'll pass. No one's forcing you, Harold. But why don't you keep me company until Chris arrives? Okay, that I can do. How's the post today? Ah. Oh. It's a bit slow. What with the this is uh, yeah, very interesting game. So this is basically just I a narrative really game. Uh, I don't know makes me so how much restless. choice there is. Potential different endings. I honestly don't know. Yep, and Chris can't get to the school for the same reason. So at least we'll have plenty of time to work out together. Yeah, we played. Man is almost as fit as me. Um, Why do I feel like Tales of Zendaya which looks really good. Oh, hey, uh, Breachway, right. and now this. And we've got a couple motto. more to try today if we can, if we have time. Won't you stay? The jog team won't be the same without you. Yeah, venga, Harold. You can't leave now. I just got here. Jog team, jog team, jog team. <laughs> oh, go on then. Um, okay. Go jog team. Go jog team. Come on, Harold. Keep up. Harold, you're so slow. 
<laughs> guys. Guys. Um I've lost him. Go on. With I thought I was fit. <laughs> We've had another message. Good show, Harold. Good show. Like Chris's feeling? vibe. Ugh. Hey Jay. I think there was a new personal best for me. Welcome to Harold Halibut. Fine, thanks, buddy. <laughs> How do you both keep so fit? Oh, you know me, Harold. I've been running around very the strange. station for years. Gotta keep up my reputation for same day service after all. Healthy body, healthy mind. That's what uh, I don't going. know. Gotta set a good example <laughs> if I'm winning. Lazy I think so. Of mine too. <laughs> it's very, it's very narrative Have focused. So yeah. Just Keep on moving. How are you, man? It's good to see you. You never know when you'll have to slow down. Mm -hmm. So keep going while you can. Take it slow. Alrighty. Uh, we've had some stuff. 